morning welcome back to another video it's nice and early this morning i think it's just before eight o'clock we are just leaving the yard horses are all done and we are off to our local tax shops summer sale every year our local tax shop. we've got two tax shops local to us that are really quite big and every summer they have a sale of last year's well it's more rugs and clothes isn't it than tack um although the other tax shop i haven't heard what date they're going they usually do it bank holidays mm. um so i haven't heard that date so we're going to this rug sale basically essentially is what it is today all just last year's style rugs that they want to sell off make space before they get this year's style rugs in so all brand new at rock bottom prices if you've watched for a while we went last year didn't we and we got donut some new rugs and they, oh we did get gambler some as well didn't we yeah. lewis is with me um and they were like 10, 20 pound each. I have seen pictures online. I think the average, they've got sale tickets on it this year, not a code, then you have to look on the wall to see what the code says. I think they're averaging about 32 pound, I've seen most of them at. And for brand new rugs, like heavyweights, medium weights, that's nothing. So this week we've gone through the tack room, didn't we? I think in the last video you would have seen us, you keep, vibrating i'm in the car um the last vlog you would have seen that we we tried the rugs on ebby and pip didn't we mm. so i've written in my notebook what size rugs they need and heavyweight medium weight lightweight all that because otherwise i'll forget we did go through willows gamblers and of course donuts old rugs last year we think will fit Ebby this year of course we lost champ and he had a full wardrobe of rugs so we tried them on donut didn't we so we've gone through champs old rugs gamblers and willows and they do essentially have everything they need don't they mm. there's nothing that i desperately need to buy for them three but like gambler's medium weight, I know he's old and tatty, so if we find one up there cheap, then I'll just buy it. Um, but I'm not in a major panic. But we also do need hay nets, feed buckets, fly mask for Pip. Um, silly little things like that, but I don't know whether they have any of them in the sale. Um, it's gonna be crazy busy. It doesn't open till nine o'clock, but we're gonna head there right now to try and get a parking space and get early on in the queue. The way they do it is they have just massive cardboard boxes scattered everywhere. Five nine rugs will be in one, five six in another, six foot in another. And it's a case of, isn't it, just grab and go. Yeah. Um, go to the size you want, grab what you think you need, then we go up an aisle, sort for it, whatever we don't want, we then go put back in the box. Um, I know that clothes are on sale. I've seen that some clothes are on sale. I need more jodhpurs, really. I've got loads of leggings. They're nice for the summer, but I want warmer stuff for the winter. Um, we'll see what we can get, basically. But yeah, we're gonna take a journey up there now, and then we'll take you along with us.
here. We're gonna have to ignore that cable. Um, we're early. We are at GJW Titmus. So it's Titmus downstairs is the horse food. Horse World is upstairs with the rugs and everything. We've got here nice now. They've got a parking space this year. I remember last year we came, we had to park right round the back. Um, so there's a few people in the queue already. I am just gonna drink a cup of tea and then we're gonna go get in the queue because people are starting to pull in now. Um, this is a big thing. I mean, owning horses is extremely expensive as it is. So whenever there's rug sales, we're all there, aren't we? To try and get a bargain. Um, but yeah, we'll see what we can get. I'm just gonna drink this and get in the queue. You ready, Lewis? Yeah. What are you looking for? Are you looking for Ebby's rugs or Pip's rugs? Mm, both. Both. So what, oh, let's put you over there. Um, I've had to write it in notebooks, otherwise I'd forget which horse was which size and needed which weight rug. So, are you going to get her a nice bright pink rug if you can? Okay. <laughs> I, I didn't think you'd say that yes to that. So you would put Ebby in a pink rug? Mm. You're happy with that? Mm. I'm surprised with that. But, yes, we can see what bargains we can get. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got a fair bit we just i've got to get horse food as well so lewis is just loading this all into the car um we grab the horse food get back down the yard and we do a little tack haul yeah yep are you happy with what we got yeah do you think we got everything that we were meant to no we only got a few things only got a few things <laughs> We're back in the car with the goods. Um, spent a hell of a lot more, let's pick you up there. Hell of a lot more money than I was intending to spend. But I do think we've got a lot for what I spent. Um, do you think we got a lot for the money spent? No. No? Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't think no no rug was over £35, was it? Maximum. I don't know where to put this cable to get it out of view. Um, but yeah, we've got out of there. It was extremely busy, wasn't it? What we do, what I done was put Lewis in a corner out the way because they have the sale area. Um, I think you're just gonna have to leave it, Lou. They have a sale area with all the boxes. Nothing was in size order, was it, this time? No. It was just one type of rug, like your 100 gram turnout was in this box, all sizes. You had to do a bit of rummaging. So I left Lewis in a corner that didn't have sale stuff, so he wasn't bombarded by everyone and I rummaged through the boxes. What I'd done was just grab anything in the sizes that we wanted. I went back, like kept dumping it off to you every so often, didn't I? Mm. So he then kept hold of what we had and grabbed more. Um, and then we went through what we had, didn't we? Through mm. the sizes, decided whether we wanted that, whether we needed it and everything. And then I put back anything we didn't want to buy so it's back in the boxes for the next person but i think that's the quickest and easiest way to do that don't sort out going oh do i need this in the queue it's just far too busy um so yeah we're gonna head back to the yard now because i've got horse food on as well um and we go through this and give you a little bit of a tackle well, it's not tack, it's all rugs. They didn't have many clothes on sale this year, did they? No. I saw a few t-shirts, but they weren't reduced much. And I'm I'm not fussed on the name, so I'll just go to 
Primark and get myself some more vest tops and stuff. I was looking more for jodhpurs for me for the winter, but nothing was reduced too much. I'm not that desperate for them. So, yeah, we're going to get back to the yard and then we'll grab this stuff out and show you what we bought. We're back at the yard. Lewis is just grabbing everything out and then I think we should organise it in what horse it's going to and then we'll go through what we bought. So Lewis has organised all the rugs. Who's you doing first? Ebbies. Right, so let's see what you got there. Are you coming? What's this one? Mm, light turnout. Right, so she's got a lightweight turnout combo. For all of this, we spent, it was £306, a lot more than I actually wanted to spend, but we got a lot more than I thought I was going to. So it doesn't say what the original price was, it just tells us what the sale price is now. So this is a Highlander original light turnout combo. In teal, it's in gambler's colour. £39 paid for this one. Just hold it up. So yeah, lightweight turnout with a neck. Um, I like that, I like that colour. Blue with orange and white piping, that's nice. That will suit her. Yeah. yeah, it looks huge, yeah? That is. It is a five, six, it looks huge. Right, so you've got her a lightweight turnout. Yeah. What's the, her pole's this one, isn't it? Yeah. And then, what's this one? Oh, it does say here, it was 84.95, now it's 35 pound. Highlander original 300 gram turnout combo rug. You can't, 35 pound for a brand new combo rug. It's absolutely nothing, isn't it? Are you taking all these out the bag or are you gonna? Oh, we've got to put them on the shelf, haven't we? This has got green on it as well. Okay. Heavyweight with an egg. So that's nice. What else did you get? Oh, it's got a patch repair on it as well. She for it if she breaks it. And then he got her a Lumiere fleece. So you like these fleeces, don't you? It's not the one he... You want the show rug one, don't you? That's got the fluffy collar. Um, but yeah, we got... It is very soft. Are you coming out the front here a bit more? Ooh, that is soft. So yeah. Turn it around the other way. So oh, it's got a lovely padding on the front on the withers. So yeah, she's got a nice little Lumiere navy fleece. So that's lovely. So that's nice. Keep that nice for her. That's got a little bag thing it can go in. And then what did we get her? So that's the all in five six. That is what size she is now, isn't she? But being a yearling, we do know she's gonna grow. So we got her five foot nine. This is a stable rug. I don't usually buy stable rugs. I always buy turnout rugs because it can be used in the stable or turn out. But this, 30 pound this was. How much was that fleece? Did we say how much fleece was? The fleece was £28. You can't go wrong with that, can you? So 
yeah, this one was £30. It is a 200 gram stable rug, so a medium weight stable rug for her um, to grow into. So we've got something, just in case she grows over the winter, we've got something to put her straight into. So, thought that was nice. Not too badly priced either. So, that is all Ebby's stuff. So what did you get, little Pippi? Uh, a 100 gram turnout rug. Yeah. Tickaboo, it's called. Turnout rug, £32. So I don't think that's bad at all. But <laughs> can you see that? It's got a little cool dude horse with sunglasses on. That is so cute. So yeah. It's, it looks like it's got a nice small neck on it as well. Um, but when I was clearing out the shed yesterday we found some necks didn't we so we've got a neck potential that could go on that what else did she get oh another one what's that one uh, turn out light turn out uh, that's just a rain sheet that one then this one £30. Did I say how much that one was? Yeah, oh, really? Yeah. £30 for the lightweight. Again, she looks so smart, bless her. And the cool dude horses again. So that's just a lightweight. Uh, what's that one? So she's got lightweight and medium weight. What was that? 200. Oh, 200. So she's got two medium weights, did she? What was the other one? 100, isn't it? Oh, 100. Yeah, so a lightweight, 100, 200. Can you not get in it? Johnson Hair. Yeah. This one, original turnout combo, 200 gram. 54 pound, baby, this one was. But again, I knew I was going to have to pay some money for medium weights and heavy weights for it. That's cute, isn't it? Okay, nice pattern on it. But yeah, so that's her. Oh, she got something else, didn't she? What was that one? Stable. Oh, yeah. Um, we did get her a stable rug. As I say, I don't usually get them, but why did, why did we get this? It must have been cheap for me to think about getting it for us. Was £75.95 reduced to £33, 300 grams. It's a heavyweight stable with a neck. So, it's not bad at all, is it? Mm. It looks smart. And then... What else did you get? We got. Don't forget, we only went for Pip and Ebby, didn't we? Yeah, we got Gambler of Flesh. <laughs> As I say, he's wanted the Lemuel ones for ages. Although they didn't have your green, did they? Yeah. So, what is this? Uh, Burgundy. Burgundy, please. £28. So, Gambler's spoiled again. He's only had one rug. Yeah, he only had one rug. He's got the fleece neck. So, I just find you have to buy quality fleeces because cheap fleeces, they seem to stretch around the front here, don't they, and go baggy on their necks. Yeah. So, I always pay quality, buy quality fleeces. Is that £28? Yeah. So, that's our little rug haul 
for all the horses. You can put all this away now then. <laughs> so of course Ebby has had to come in for a try on. <laughs> this is it, when they're growing, everything looks so deep on them. That's it, pull it forward. Go back, Hebs. That does look smart on there, doesn't it? <laughs> Don't pull it too far back over her bum. Doesn't need to stretch. To the back one. Bless her, she's not fussed by anything. You happy with that? Yeah. Middle of summer and we're trying on winter rugs. Hey? I think she looks good in the blue. Next bit big, but she grow into that. <laughs> Got a little pippy in now. <laughs> oh, bless her. You ain't going to lose her in the field, are you? Mm. Don't worry too much about her tail. Just want to see whether it fits her, how she looks in it. That's it, that fits her better around the neck. Once you've pulled it over her bum a little bit. That's it. <laughs> Do you like that one? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, take that one off, we try the other one on. <laughs> Don't worry about her tail. Oh, that neck length fits her nicely. That's it. You happy with that one? Mm. Yeah, I think she liked that one. That pattern looks really nice. I like that. So we've brought Gambler in now because he actually needs bathing because he's going showing tomorrow. So of course we had to do a fashion show with him in his rug as well, didn't we, Lois? Yeah. But he looks really good. Hey, we get because he is so chunky, we find it really hard to fit things around the neck and chest, don't we? So yeah. it's not tight, but he can't be any bigger, can he? But yeah. I think the colour suits him, but being black it Loads of colours suit him, don't they? Yeah. But yes. Hey, you look all smart. Are you going to make him wear that for the show tomorrow? Keep him clean tonight? Mm. Yeah. We are going to bath him now and get him all spruced up, ready for tomorrow. So if you like what you see, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we will see you again in the next video.